Okay, so let's go through it. And so the first thing, um, so there are two ways, like I said, to access the code. And the first is going to the website. So provided the link. And so it's github.com forward slash VROL forward slash learn computer program. Okay. Once you're there, um, you can click on any of the directories that you see and access the file. So for example, we were most recently working on chapter five, JavaScript and JSON, and you know, um, section two. So that's the only directory there for now. But, and here's the code, there's a C++ code that I wrote and showed you, and the JavaScript. So you can just copy that, paste that in your brackets and work with it. So that's one way. And this is very easy and straightforward and you don't have to worry about Git or anything. You can just access it online. The downside I should let you know is that if for any reason that, you know, you wanted to access the code and you don't have internet access because you're traveling or something, um, then well, you know, but it's the same issue if you wanted to watch a video and you didn't have internet access unless you download it. So anyway, so that's one way and that's totally reasonable. The other way for if, if you want to have a copy of the code on your local machine is to do this. So I'm going to kind of open another tab and I'm going to develop directory and let me actually um, resize my screen here a bit and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see right. so I'm going to zoom in okay and so there we are. And so I'm going to go to this directory type ls and just imagine that I wanted to put my code here. So I can clone it from the git command line. I can say git clone and I could do copy and paste, right? And then I could give some directory. I don't have to give a directory. If I don't give a directory and just clone it into a directory called learn computer programming. If I do ls, there is the directory. Now it's minus l. You can see there's the directory, okay? And so it actually clone all the code into that directory. And now I can access it just a directory on my computer with a code and I can access it from uh, my brackets editor. But I want to mention something. You can imagine if you clone the directory, you have a copy of the code that it is today, but let's say tomorrow I push some update, you won't have those updates on your computer. So what you need to do is go into this directory and then say git like pull, okay? And we'll pull down the latest update. There, there isn't any there because we just cloned it and I didn't push anything new. So that's one way of doing it on a command line. Of course, you can do this very same thing from, so let me remove this directory, and you can do this from brackets. So here's brackets, and I'm going to say, um, first of all, I wanna create a directory to store my code, and so I can give it a name, um, whatever name you want. So let's call it learn computer programming, right? And then, and then I'll create a second directory while I'm here. I'm, I'll explain what a second directory is for. Um, source. And so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say open the directory and I'm gonna say I wanna open this directory, develop and long computer. Program. Nothing, there's nothing, notice there's nothing in that directory. It's open and it's empty, okay? There's nothing there. And then I say clone and then it asks me where do you wanna clone from? And, oh, that's not what I wanna clone from but I want to clone from here. So I go back to here and copy this. That's why I copy it. And I paste that. I said, okay. And notice now it clones and I have all the files here just as I have them on my system. Okay. And so you can access the file. Now, why did I create a second directory? Now it's good to have a copy of, oh, and before I continue, um, when I have updates, so when I push updates onto the website, you just click this button here, that means pull, which is the exact same command we execute on the command line when I did git pull. So if you're using the command line, you can type git pull, if you, and, and you did to do git clone to get a copy, if you're using brackets, you saw I cloned the copy by doing, um, cloning it from within brackets, and then now I can do pull to get updates. So why do I have a second directory? Well, now, with a second directory, um, let's see um, w why I have that. You want to use your second directory for your code. So you can say open um, my development directory and source. And then now you have a directory in which you can put your code. 
and so you can leave the directory you clone with the good stuff you leave it nice pristine and clean but in case you make any mistake you can go back to it and so on that's not to say that oh if you were using this directory and somehow you modify this file for example you made a mistake you couldn't restore it right so even if i save it um notice it's i like in here to tell me that, oh, it's different um i can and here it's showing me that, oh, it's different i can actually say commit the changes i want or i could say discard changes and it would let me know until it's discarding the changes, right? And so the only problem I find though with um, brackets is even though I, um, well, I was having a problem when I discard change and I go back to the file, it would still have it, but no, it refreshed it this time and um, I restored it, okay? Even if you commit the change, you can still get back to it, right? Because that's the purpose of a version control is that it keeps track, keep track of all your changes. So for example, if I go into this directory, learning computer program and I type git log, I can see all the changes, right? And you could check out any one you want. That is beyond where we've, co where we've covered with git. So that's how you get access to the code. So I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, please post a comment. Let me know where I lost you and I'll do it over again. I'll go much slower or I'll address if, some, if you post something very specific, I can address that too. So, all right. Thanks for your time and see you later. I hope, um, you know, you can act, now that you can access the code, you'll be experimenting more. All right, take care. Bye.